Hey y'all, Vlen here, and welcome to a book, another book review, where today we're, we're reviewing the second part of 2666. I forgot what this second part was part. called. What? Uh, What'd you say? Part. So, yeah, I the second hear. part. <laughs> no, you're gonna love it. Well, my co-host today is... <laughs> it's me, it's Radiant. I really want to be here, as you can tell. Yeah, I got him, I got a hostage. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, so to yeah, um yeah, so there's a book review and we're doing it today. Uh, uh Yeah, it's uh, oh god, what's the second part even called? Shit. Um I don't know what the second part's called. Okay, that that that's uh, we're doing the second part of 2666. That by, by Bolano, Bol no, shit. Robert, Ro, 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 Roberto Bolano. Yeah, 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 that's him. So as yeah. you'll remember, Al, uh, Radiant in the first yes. part, there was a character named, I don't know how to pronounce names, but the name was something like uh, Amalfitano, Amalfitano or something, right? Right, remember mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they catch yeah. up to speed, he has a daughter, he lives in Santa Teresa, the place where all the crimes happen in over like a decade. Uh, count like uh, hundreds of women have been uh, kidnapped and killed based off of a real place in Mexico. Awesome, great start, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we start... And he is, he's kind of a big chilling kind of guy, you know? Bing chilling. He, he bing chillings a lot, I'd say. Oh, wow. Um, okay, okay, here's, here's a start. He, in, in, in the first part about the critics, we, he, we just thought he was like a single parent, right? Because we, we never saw his wife, correct? And this one, it starts out with his wife, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, him and his wife have the kid, obviously, that's where the kid came from. That's, you know, right. biology. You know, yeah, if you want me to, I can go. Biology, I, I can this. I can go deeper into that. You know about eggs and all that, but I'm not sure if that's necessary. Mm. And you know, we can talk no, about no. chromosomes. <laughs> um. You know what? What do you think that um counter for this one's gonna be? Three hundred. Three hundred. I don't yeah. know. I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking we're gonna hit the four hundred mark for real though. Really now? Yeah. Okay, so. You know, so basically. His wife's okay. So uh, the book, uh, there's a line. I, d I don't think it's in the very beginning of this chapter, but it w it was in it was in like the first couple of pages of of the first part, and in the second part it is said again. It's like I'm pretty sure it's like madness is contagious, right? So that's an important line. Remember that one. So anyways, uh, remember that. yeah, remember that one. Put in the brainwaves rating. So his wife is talking to him. It's like she's always talking about this poet that she who is gay and she met him at a party well no, yeah it was at a party and she, she loves this poet you know she's a big fan and uh she tells this story about how she like was always trying to track him down she found him this one time and then yeah yeah um wait 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 you know um it, it was like this weird part okay i kind of forgot this part a little so you know I will. Yeah, what a book review. For, <laughs> okay, okay, book. okay. Uh, hear me out. Hear me out. I was gonna do this book review like what three days ago, four days ago, or something like that. But Sam wouldn't uh -huh. do it. You know, uh, I've forgotten some things. It's just, you know, I'm already on to part three. I'm, I'm thinking about that. You no, know, I wish I had the willpower of Sam to just leave, but I don't. I know. You're you're just you're too good of a friend. Okay. Oh yeah, by, by the way, viewers, if you didn't know, originally this book review was going to be with Sam, but they kept delaying it, and now they're just like, no, I'm not going to do it. This has to be like the eighth promise they've broken that they've made. It's insane. They are a... Well, well what's that word I always say? Pathological liar. They're a pathological liar. Of Trust. course, of course. You know, lied about playing League of Legends with me. Lied about doing the book review with me. A true menace. Honestly. Yeah, so... His wife at this party. Either she like watches him have sex with someone. No, he doesn't have sex because he's gay. I th I think him and her are just watching her. Him and her and a couple other people just watching two people have sex at the party, right? We got it. Yeah, and and she's convinced that she can make him not gay. Mhm. Mm oh, oh, one more thing about the poet. He's kind of insane, right? I see. There's been uh, some other like insane artist figures in the book. If you remember the uh, the other chapter where there's that one painter that cut off his hand uh, to put it in a painting, you remember that, of course, Alex, right? 
<laughs> of course. You loved that part, Alex. We all know this. This, I, was, this was your I favorite part. I obviously remember that. Yeah. And then, and then, you know, he, and then the guy's like, oh, yeah, the guy who cut off his hand, you know, oh, yeah, look, I'm talking about the first part, you know, okay, we're going to stop talking about that part. Um, so she, she's all about that, right? And then after that, she's like, man, I really want to meet him again. And so she, like, stakes out outside of his house, but she, like, never sees him, like, so many times, right? Right. And then so, you know, she got married to Amal Filtano, had the kid, blah, 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 all that stuff, right? And, but... She's like a real big fan of this this poet guy, and she does. Zenyana have two hundred twenty five HP now. What? Who? What did they did they buff Zenyana's HP to two hundred twenty five? Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't see that in the patch notes. Damn, that's cool. You also got the you know the, the knockback. Yeah, uh, I saw the kick, but I didn't see the HP buff. That's kind of cool. God, honest, I don't see why he. The, the you know guys the H the HP buff doesn't make sense for the 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 the, the lore. What the hell? He, he guys, he's a like weak robot. Why do you have an HP buff? Nice. Um, what, what are we talking about? So, I'm on oh, Fultano. No. So, uh, his wife has just been like, dude, me and one of my friends, I think their name's Ima, we're gonna go to somewhere. I th it might have been Spain. I'm not sure. Somewhere, basically. And at that somewhere, they're gonna try to find the put who's now in a mental facility. And they're gonna okay. try to break him out. And then the plan is basically... Um, Lola, who's his wife, and Ima, right. Lola's gonna marry him, and like, you know, frick him and stuff, who, let me remind you, the poet is gay, right. and Ima's just gonna work a job and make a lot of money and benefit nothing from it, but that's their plan, right? Right. So, they, and, and, and you know, Emma Fatano's like, so you're just gonna leave me with, like, our one-year-old baby? And she's like, oh, I'll be back. Even though, you know, I'll she's going back, there guys. to marry the poet, basically, you know? <laughs> So, I'll you know, back, yeah, I'll be back. Don't worry. I'll be back any day now. So, you know, they leave. And Amal Fotano's like, damn, they really did that. But here's the thing, right? Amal Fotano, I, I, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this could be something I make up or, or I'm forgetting. But I'm pretty sure he be, he has reason to believe that the story that his wife was telling of, you know, being with the poet. And, you know, like, all that, watching the two people have sex and all that, never happened, because she wasn't there. She was with him at the time. So right. she could just be straight up crazy, right? Right. You know, the whole Mattis is contagious thing. Yo, 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 you're getting this? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 okay, you're getting this. So, she goes to the place with the mental uh, guy, you know, I bet, I, there was probably a bit of a story on how they got there, but I forgot about it. It probably wasn't that interesting. Um... You know, she goes there. Um, th she writes a lot of letters to him, you know, about it. And I'm pr over the letters is kind of how we learn the story of what she's doing there. So she got there, and, you know, they, they, they keep trying to get in. Most of the time, it doesn't work. But one time, they pretend to be, like, reporters or something, trying to, like, talk to him, you know. And while there, they were like, yeah, so, the, the, you know, they got to him, you know, because they are like, oh, yeah, we're a faux show. We do be reporters, though. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! I got slept. Honestly, that's oh, not in the book. No, no. Yeah, uh, I actually, you just don't understand. That's like all the books about. Come on. Oh, you're right. You're yeah, right. playing Winston, saying, "Oh shit, I got slept." Dude, Roberto Bolano was a huge Overwatcher. Trust. Oh yeah. You just don't know it yet. Um, um, uh, um, uh, uh, um, um, uh. See, I keep losing my train of thought because I'm playing an Overwatch game. Uh. Well, okay, so, you know, they, they basically, they go there, they get there, they're at the mental hospital, they get, they get to him in a room, and the, the, well, when the other person kind of, like, you know, isn't listening or leaves, they're like, yo, my guy, I love your poetry, blah, 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 we're, we're gonna, we're gonna break you out and get out of here, and he's like, okay, cool, sweet, crazy, you know, and, he, and like, the, the, she's like saying, oh my god, I remember meeting you that one time, which, you know, Emma Fatal doesn't believe even ever happened. He's like, oh yeah, for sure, loved that, you know? Mm -hmm. He's like, oh yeah, what what a what a time. And, uh, so I, I, I'm pretty sure the ne the, the, they're like, okay, the next day we're going to break him out. But the, new, the news reporters don't let them back in ever again, I don't believe. Um, and then one day they, they need money, right? When, when, and, and then, you know, they're still going to, like, the mental hospital, like, every day, trying to get in again for more interviews or whatever. 
But you know, uh, they're, they're, they're never they're never being let in. So you know, they they need money to you know do that whole living thing. So Ima goes on a bus to get a job. I'm pretty sure that's the last Ima ever exists in the book. Let's go. At least for this part. Who knows? They might appear in the future. So Lola is just like she she's like sleeping in a hole in a graveyard, right? Cause she do be needing the money though, and so she's just sleeping in a graveyard hole. And there's this guy, you know, the guy really isn't important. There's this one guy that's like, oh, I'm a truck driver or something. No one cares about him. You know, she has sex with him or something. That's really his whole character. I don't know. And also, I didn't really pay attention to that guy, so th that guy doesn't matter. Trust. Got it. You know, him showing up multiple times and them talking about, like, philosophy or something. Honestly, all that doesn't matter. You just gotta believe me there. Okay, so I ran out of Cheez-Its. Yeah, but you, know, you can still stay from our book review, right? <laughs> you, you're, not, you're not saying the only reason you're here is because you got Cheez-Its. I have to stay here for 44, 5 more minutes before I can leave. It's, uh, no, I'm, I'm going through this pretty fast. Trust. Trust. I'm gonna go get another snack. Okay. Okay. Well, As I time I'm back, I'll, I'll it better be five o'clock. No, no, no. Just, just be back soon, cause I'm pausing the book review. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. pausing my ah! recording. Oh God. Is it paused? Okay, viewers. The, uh, the stop is done. Radiant is back with more cheese. It's to, to know his pain. Yeah. It's gonna be great. So, okay. So, <laughs> so um, uh, so uh, so 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 um, uh. Basically, after that, like, she kind of, I think she kind of gave up on getting the poet out, you know, she, basically, as the viewers were just kind of, like, she's gonna, you know, like, she's, she's clear that they're not laying her back in, she's gonna do something else now, you know, probably talk to that, like, graveyard guy again, or whatever, blah, 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 oh, that guy really likes having sex in the graveyard, by the way, but that's not important, um, what is this, Twitter? Ha 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 ha, uh, I don't get it. Are there a lot of, like, Negrophilax on Twitter? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man, I, I should I should go on Twitter more. Those people sound great. <laughs> the, 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 I'd, I'd be a great fit, you know? So, um, you know, basically, as we, we're, we're kind of just, like, towards the very, you know, she's, you know, she has no money. Ema's not coming back. Or maybe she isn't. I don't know. But basically, Lola's getting out of there. And we're, we're back to M. Alphatano, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, he has a daughter that's, like, in her teens, I believe. And, you know, in this place, you know, hundreds of uh, girls are, you know, murdered uh, over the course of a decade. Like, hundreds of them. You know, that's really not a good number. Yeah, oddly enough, not a good number. Um, And so, you know... They're kind of like, uh, he's kind of like, hey, I, like, he, like, he, he never in the novel is he, does he, like, expressive worry out, out loud to his daughter, but, you know, it, we're in his mind, he is not a big fan, you know, because he's like, I think she might just die, which, you know, having your daughter die, probably not good, maybe, you know? Really? Yeah, so, you know, he's... He's subtly worried about that, you know, like, he, he, he'll hear, hear, like, when, when she leaves the house at night, he'll, like, hear the cars start going, he's like, oh, can't wait to wake up in the morning or watch TV, and then, boom, another body's been found, you know, and it's gonna be her daughter, his daughter. But, you know, he's like, rah, 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 rah. like, he, he doesn't really take any action on it. Yeah. Um, and then, and then, like, the, the, the you know, like, she was one-year-old when Lola left, and now she's, you know, older, like, teen somewhere in there, and Lola just, like, comes back one day. And then he's like, oh, you know, and like, he, he's like oddly indifferent to it. You know, he's just oddly like, indifferent. Okay. yeah, he's just like, oh, uh, th th this is your mom. And then, you know, Rose is like, what? <laughs> so, you know, gotta be honest. I think I, I would have a different reaction than Rose. I'd be kind of mad. Like, yo, you were just not here, dog. But, you know, dog, where were you? But, you know, she seems quite pretty excited, you know, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. And uh, Lola's only able to stay there for like a couple of days because she's basically she goes there to say, I just want to see Rosa one last time because I am sick, you know. Uh. And then she says, hey, yeah, I also have another kid. She doesn't say where. She's just like, I have another kid, a little boy who still needs to be taken care of. And, you know, so she's to something else. And then she basically just leaves again. And she's just gone. Right. And wh 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 when she leaves, uh, Emma Fotano's like, 
Like she, she, like she, she just like walks out there like a you know little suitcase thing. She and like she, she's just like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna like get a ride by some driver, you know? Right. And so he's like, okay, so you know, in Santa Teresa, you know, really not a nice place, you know, a lot of murder and stuff. You know, it's a big city right. and all that. Well, yeah, it's not. It's not like there's a tumor because it's a big city. It's just there's a tumor because the place sucks. Right. Ah. Uh, <laughs> um. You know, she's just like, oh, I'll just you know, get, I'll hitchhike a ride. You know, and it's like mid midnight. You know, like night, 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 night time, sleep time. You know, not not right. not like, hey, get a ride from a random stranger time time. And Elf Town's like, he's convinced that she's just going to die. But like, she she's just you know, he never sees her in the news. We're pretty sure she's just gone. Which, like, here's the thing, I'm not, me personally, I think there's a chance that she was killed. Because, like, mul multiple times in the novel, we are told that a lot of times the peop the dead people, the, the dead woman, no one would, uh, like, uh, you know, be they would claim their bodies. Be like, oh yeah, that's my daughter, you know? I don't remember really exactly why they people don't tend to not do it, but there's a reason probably, most likely. Most and God likely. Me like, Emma Fatana, that whole Mattis is contagious, I think Lola rubbed a little off of him. Because in the coming chapters, my guy is not doing too hot, you know? So, he starts, like, he, in the first chapter, if you remember, he hangs up, he, he gets, he hangs up this, there's this book outside that the critic's like, yo, what's that book about? He's like, uh, it doesn't matter, just don't take it down. The book is the, like, it's it, it's a thing it's a thing on advanced geometry by someone by someone with the last name like DSD or something, right? And uh um uh, uh something. Mm-hmm. It's like I need to drink a coke. Another. Wait, why did my straw bend? Oh my god, worst day of my life. Are you drinking a soda can for straw? No, no, I got Chick Fil A. Oh. Okay. So it's like a styrofoam cup, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the best part of today. Wow, thank you, Chick Fil A. That's so kind. Um. Oh, God. So okay. basically, he he's just like sorting through his books, and there's this book, and it's you know this geometry book. He has he has no memory where he could have got it or where it came from, right? It's just a book. He doesn't right. know. So he asks his daughter, like, "Hey, is this your geometry book?" And she's like, "That, that that's like a super advanced geometry book. Why would I have that?" And he's like, "I don't know." Yeah, I remember. So he just kind of claims it as his own, but he has this idea, and it's based off of like some real life philosophy thing. I don't know. It's basically, he's gonna hang it outside, you know, in the weather on the on his clothesline, and just see like what nature, like what what pages it turns to, and ha how it lives outside. I guess mm -hmm. is his what he's gonna do. Yeah. Um. So he does that, right? And I think what what, what it's about. Um, like, sometimes, like, uh, if he has a bad night, the book will be all wacky. So, I think the the book is kind of, like, a foil for him, you know? It yeah. kind of, like, because he didn't want to really go to Santa Teresa. I kind of forgot why he, he did. I don't think it was for a college job. I think he already, like, had, he was a professor, and then he went to Santa Teresa. So, I'm, I'm not for sure why he went. Oh, my God, I suck at this game. Oh, never mind, God, I'm the best gamer ever. But, yep. you know, he's really out of his element, kind of like how this book do be, you know? Right. And, you know, over time, the book, just in the, you know, weather alone, is going to get worse. And, uh, he for sure is too. So, he, he's not having a groove in time, right? Right. Um, and at, okay, okay, I, I don't know the exact order things happen, so, you know... That, that's pretty good for a book review, probably not knowing, uh, you know, how things happen, but whatever. Um, okay, well, what do I talk about first? Okay, I'll talk about, he starts, like, drawing these diagrams, right, of, like, a lot of just, like, ph philosophers and critics and just, like, people, scientists from, like, history or important figures. Like, he'll just, like, draw shapes with their names on dots of them just at random, you know? And he, he's doing it almost unconsciously. And, and for a while, he's like, what the hell am I? Like, you know, he'll just do his college class after he's, you know, given the lecture. And he's just sitting around. And the, the people are doing work. Oh, oh my god, Alex. The, the charge bar. The charge bar for the health packs are back. But they're not, it's not moving. It's just standing still. Wait, I'll send you a picture of this. Okay. You, you'll want to see this. Okay. 
you'll want to see this. Oh, I, t I took the picture of Flash on. Okay. Wait, oh, and then someone took it. It's just... Okay, okay, I'll, I'll send you, I'll, I'll send those to you. It's back, but it's not moving. Okay, cool. Um, wait, what was I just talking about? I got distracted. Oh, he's drawing, he's drawing the diagrams of the, of, uh, the people. So he's like, what's this mean? I have no idea what this means. And basically that's, that's how it ends for like us. To, well, th that's how that one of the scenes ends for us. Um, and then he starts uh, hearing a voice, right? It's at night, and he gets really scared because, you know, he thinks it might be, like, a kidnapper there for his Rosa, for Rosa, or, you know, or something. So he's getting pretty scared because, you know, he's hearing voices. Like, he, he is him hearing voices. Like, he's going, like, schizo mode, right? Right. Um, and he, at first, he's, like, he, he thinks it could be his father or his grandfather or his godfather. Uh, I think, it, for some reason, he thinks it could be like that. And the voice... Um... Uh, it's kind of just, like talking you know yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> what's it talking about uh you see this is why i should have had a note no notes ready for this uh really yeah yeah really i kind of think so um oh so oh my god someone talked in the overwatch team chat wait are they moaning do i need to leave no they're not moaning they're, okay that's just a language i don't speak <laughs> Wow, really thought another language was moaning, huh? Well, they have a very airy voice. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, they're probably not saying anything bad. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so the, the ghost... Okay. The, they talk about multiple things, but I think the main thing is the ghost keeps calling that he's acting like a, uh, a slur. That starts with an F. <laughs> which I think. Okay, what 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 is this person saying? I'm getting where they're saying something bad. Hmm. I I just won't mute them. My viewers will love hearing multiple voices all at the same time. Yep. They'll love that. Um. What was I on about? Hello. Oh yeah, so the the ghost keeps using the uh, the 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 f word slur, like not the swear, but like the slur slur, the bad, the real bad one, yeah. you know. And and, and, and Emma Fulton was like, a "Ayo, ghost," which you know, kind of his subconscious. But I I don't think that the ghost is really a reflection of him. I don't think that's the point of the ghost. Um, well, not the ghost, the voice, I guess. Um, and, and the the voice is just like, "Oh, I, I don't hate gays." You know, and he's like, there are many gay, gay poets that I really like, you know? And it kind of reminds me of that whole thing where people are like, no, I can say the N-word, I have black friends. I'm not racist, I have black friends, you know? Kind of gave me those vibes. And uh, Emma Fatana was like, yeah, but you're kind of like saying it though. And he's like, no, 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 you just don't get it. Right. What language is this? I think it, I don't know. Oh my god, all my viewers are watching to this point because they just saw my book review so much. What language are they speaking? There you go. Put it in the comments below. Make sure to like the video too. And so they kind of go on that for a while. On how like, yeah, he's saying this stuff, but you know, he doesn't mean it in that way. You know, even though he's literally saying it. You know, it, it's kind of taking this... I think the point of it is that it's taking this point where it's like, you can't really justify saying that word and also say you're not being you know homophobic at the same time you know but he is trying to justify it as a thing that can happen even though there's like no way of doing it it's, it's taking a stance that's outside of like just understanding you know which that comes back later with the whole him drawing diagrams and stuff and there's this whole thing of him approaching the board um um uh, okay, I need to mute this person. They, they, they're like, they keep laughing and talking to someone in the background. Um, you know what, I'll just keep them here. They'll, they'll be good entertainment. You know, M more entertaining than me. Right. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll let him stay. Um, the next thing that happens, he, he calls this professor and is like, dude, I think I'm going crazy. Because, you know, he started hearing voices. He's getting, he's getting, he's getting like, super paranoid about Rosa. Like, he, all the time. He, he's not having, he's not having a good time. Right. Um, 
Uh, um, 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 hey, hey, um, uh, um, um, hey, um, uh, hey, um, um, hey, yeah, that that's about where my mind's at right now. Uh, I don't know, something happens. So the professor's like, hey, dude, it's okay. The 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 professor, I forgot their name, but she's a girl, and I think she has a son. Um. And she was like, hey, me and my son, we're going to a, uh, just like, you know, they're driving somewhere. It's like a little resort pooly kind of, maybe it's a nature place. I kind of forgot what, what it's like exactly. But it's really just a, a chill place. And she's like, hey, you and your daughter want to come with us? And he's like, yeah, sure. I'll go, you know? And so, like, on the car ride there, um... So they, they go on a car right there, and he falls, uh, he, he's kind of like sleepy boy, because he's really tight, because he's sleepy, I guess. Oh, oh they, 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 they were just like, oh! Well, when the Arisa used their ult. Ah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, nothing much really happens on that trip, gotta be honest. It kind of just, I would say the point of it is to just kind of ground him, and also... Maybe because the father, the other person is kind of like a slight love interest because he does like kiss her hand in the car, and then he like, I think it also shows is kind of like shows like what his normal life could have been like if Lola just stayed, because you know like he falls asleep in the car and snoring and the her son kind of laughs at him you know kind of that kind of thing, I don't know I think that's kind of like the point of that part, but and then the next part here's the voice talking again I'm gonna be for real I forgot what the voice said. Basically, the voice duo been talking though, which you know, not good for him. And then the next day, he goes back to drawing those, you know. And also, throughout this whole thing, that that geometry book is being talked about, and how it's basically doing, it, it, you know, it keeps blowing in the weather, you know, keeps on moving. It's still up there, still living, but you know, definitely not, you know, where a book should be, you know. Right. Um. You you, you must be really enjoying this. Says, yup. Right. Uh huh. Yup. Cool. Yeah, yep, I'm definitely right. paying attention. Yeah, I know, I know. You're, you're liking this. See, this is where we need Sam on. Sam would love to be in a book review until he just didn't outright refuse. No. Sam would love this. So, um, so, um, uh, so, um, uh, he, he, in the thing, a guy calls the next day, he's, he's drawing more of these di diagrams. <laughs> Maybe they don't know they're on open mic. Should I, like, yell at them? Hey, yo, your mic's on. Well, they, I'm not sure they speak English, because, you know, clearly, I'm pr it sounds like one of those, like, Asian-y languages, you know, it's like Chinese or Korean or something. <laughs> yeah, they, they just keep going on. Oh, here, here's the thing, I have no idea, like, how my mic is compared to my desktop audio, so when I talk, people might just, like, hear only her, that the her in the voice chat and not me talking at all. That'd be really good for the book review, I think. Oh, yeah, of <laughs> Another really good book review, Zach. Wow, great one, bro. <laughs> So yeah, I love this guy speaking in a different language. Yeah, he's he, like the front center. Yeah, um, it's actually not a guy. You're assuming genders. It's a well, at least it sounds like a girl. But now I'm assuming genders. I'm saying it sounds like one. Man, I'm a horrible human. Yeah, horrible. I know. Oh, I'm 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 just quoting humanity right now. But so he's drawing more of those diagrams at college, and he's like, man, I have no idea what this means. What does it mean? And then he's like, oh, <laughs> it's simple. I know what it means. It's just something beyond my understanding, <laughs> right? So, you know, I'll talk about that later at the end. Okay, n now, okay, they're just breathing weirdly. You know, I, maybe, I think they were just laughing. Maybe that was just a laugh. No, you can mute them, it's crazy. Well, I don't want to. I think it's, I think it, they provide more entertainment than I ever could in a book review. You know? That's true. Well, you, you agree with them just kind of hurts my feelings. Like, what the heck, man? Kind of mean. Maybe be more entertaining in a book review. I don't know how to do that. I think we went over this. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really a great book reviewer. I don't think. Oh shit! It be high noon. Well, I'm dead. Um. Oh, baby. Um. Okay. So then, him and Rosa are walking around. You know, this is after he decided that hey, what I'm drawing is just beyond philosophy, beyond something that a human can understand. But it's really simple. Trust. You know. Trust, dude. Um, he, they're, they're just walking oh. around, and, uh, he meet the, 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 the,
P people come here for the stars. You guys you just gotta trust. Um, they, they, they meet them and they, they see them on the street and they're like, "Oh hi," and they are there for a. Um, it is a oh, rally. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, me too. Person in the chat, I don't know what you're saying. Um, the, they're at a rally about um. Cause they, they basically want the government to be more transparent about what is happening with all the murders of girls and stuff. It's kind of protest about that. Uh huh. I think that's what it is. And they're like, oh yeah. And they're like, hey, like, I think it was like tonight at dinner, we're meeting up with like the. Someone on like the call, like that, like owns the college and maybe their son and a couple other people. It's gonna be freaking poggers, dude. You wanna join in and come? I just woke up the Nano to Reinhardt. You're welcome, team. I know you all love me. You know, my, my team likes me for my the, well, when I do funny things like that, funny quirky things yeah. like uh, wake up the yeah, Nano Ryan. Quirky. Oh, not quirky. Like, oh yeah, thanks. We didn't we didn't want the Nano Ryan to be asleep. Thanks, one. Good thing you woke him up. And then we lost the game, possibly because I woke up Nano Ryan. You know, who knows? Yeah, really, it's a mystery. Wow. It's a mystery what happened there. <laughs> honestly, you know, it, it could have happened to anyone. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, let's be for real here. It's past my bedtime. Please don't tell my mommy. It's past my bedtime. Please don't tell my mommy. Me when I say GG, easy. Yeah. Um. So they're like, yeah, okay, we'll go. You know, I bet the voice talks one more time again to him. You know, this whole thing, like, oh, maybe the, you know, he's like, oh, maybe the voice could be a ghost. Maybe it's my grandfather. Blah blah blah. No one cares. Um. Uh. Um. 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 He he goes to the thing with his. That. No, no, you should have survived that. You're doing great. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're playing Devil Daggers. Well, what's your new, like, personal best or whatever? Uh, you're, you're doing 339. Good did, did your friend get that one for you? No, no, that's my actual best. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. You're just insane. Wait, I, I remember, I feel like, okay, I'm gonna eat some Chick-fil-A ice. I feel like I remember Chick-fil-A ice tasting pretty bad, but I'm gonna try some more. What is? Chick-fil-A ice. Like, the ice. Uh, I don't... I don't look at restaurants ice like people do. Oh, I forgot well, to kill this. If it's Whoa. good ice, I like to chew on it a little. But it's so bad for your teeth, I don't care. So, caption, I forgot to kill the squids at 80 seconds, so I'm actually throwing. What were you thinking? Yeah, I know. Here's the thing. Don't worry, I'll just get extra gems from this. I'm pretty... I'm, I'm, I, th I have a, th like a bit of a theory about this whole ice thing. I think the flavor of the ice you get from a restaurant really depends on the... Uh, what what drink you had? You know the the drink does change the ice's flavor a little. I think. Okay. Well. Okay. I'm gonna try some ice real quick. Sorry. Oh. Sorry if I'm not talking. It's not five o'clock. Okay. Apparently I have to go, Zach. So. What? I can't do this. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna do part two of the book review because I can't do this alone. Okay. Well, well why do you have well, to go? Can't believe this. I don't know. My mom's telling me I have to leave. So. Damn. See ya. See ya. Uh, I yeah. Um. Okay. People loving my book review. Uh, n n next, uh, uh n next part, we'll be talking about the, the college board son and ML, ML Filtano chilling together, and then the, yeah.